Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome to the car rant. I'm too angry to speak, so I figured it's a good time to do it publicly, right? I, I'm, I'm talking about the Speaker of the House, Mike Johnson, a guy who's only been in politics since 2016, a guy who helped engineer and, and sort of, you know, grease the wheels of Trump's attempted coup to overthrow a fee, free and fair election on behalf of Donald Trump, right? A guy who's paid for many, many abortions in his lifetime of philandering and worse, right? A sexual predator, drug addicted scumbag who's sitting in a New York City courtroom right now, mad mugging his lawyer because his lawyer's telling the truth about, you know, Trump's bullshit you know, business operation that everybody just turned a blind eye to in New York City for decades, including NBC who gave him a freaking TV show pretending he was a billionaire when we all knew that was anything but the truth. I worked on it. I saw it <laughs> firsthand, okay? Trump is a joke and a clown. The GOP knows that, but these are extreme angry men. You know, this little Oliver Peoples wearing punk ass congressman now turned speaker is one of the most extreme anti-abortion people in this country, okay? He wants to arrest doctors who perform abortions to save a woman's life. Message to fellow men, that's none of your fucking business. Whatever a woman does to her body is none of our business. And we need to stand up for our fellow women. You know, we need to stand up for human rights. Don't sleep on elections. Don't go to your kid's sports game instead of voting. Vote in your local political office. Vote in your midterms. You know, we lost my congressman. The Democrats did because of our own stupidity in the midterms. And we got Mike Lawler in my district instead of Mondaire Jones because Sean Patrick, you know, Maloney played big business and wanted to raise funds and took it for granted. And now you get basically unanimous support for a guy like Mike Johnson, who's going to do terrible things to women's rights, do terrible things for democracy. We've turned a corner. It's sad. And we all need to get involved. This isn't just about women. This is about all of us. It includes Medicare and Social Security. Stop them. Get involved.